friends, today I have a book review for you guys. It's one that I just finished like a day or two ago and I really did enjoy it. So I'm here to kind of talk about my thoughts and opinions on it. It's actually its book birthday today, so it is being released today. So there's a link below to order if you guys are interested. It's a historical fiction, like World War II kind of novel. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely give this one a shot. I want to say thank you so much to Little Bird for sending the art copy my way, as well as the final copy, along with the adorable little pin it came with. I am so thankful for you guys and how well you guys just take care of me. So I love you guys so much, thank you. And it is actually on in Farley Field by Reese Bowen. I want to start off by saying there was like a list of characters right at the beginning before you even started the book that instantly scared me. I was like, oh my gosh, there's like this whole list of people and I'm supposed to remember how they all know each other, how they're supposed to be connected, like this, you know, you, your brain just starts going. So I was instantly freaked out. And I was like trying to remember whose daughters of who, who's the son of this person, whatever. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna figure it out. It's a reference. If I need it, it's there. Great. And I did refer to it a few times in the beginning. I felt like it was a little hard to kind of grasp some of it. But once you got going, it was very easy. You didn't even need it. Like, so yeah, there was that. But don't get freaked out if you guys pick it up because it definitely scared me at the start and it was not necessary at all. Added stress for nothing. So yeah. Then moving on, I thought the research and the language was phenomenal in this. So I think like the way they described the architecture, what was happening, the landscapes, all of it, I thought was so well done. And like I said, the language fit perfectly to that time frame, even though sometimes I thought it was a little bit cheesy, but I'm assuming that's how they talked back then. So it totally makes sense for it to, to be that way. And I absolutely just loved it. I love London itself. So you know, and World War II. So having those two combined was a great element for me at least to kind of get a feel for a little bit more. And like I said, I was just, I felt like there was so much research and it was described so beautifully that I felt like I could actually put myself into those moments and actually picture what she was talking about. So I just think that was a very well done like piece of this story. Now going back to the characters, I felt like they were pretty relatable, they were down to earth, they did have struggles, you wanted to cheer for them when something good was happening, or even if something wasn't good, you were like cheering them on this whole way, I just, I really got connected, but more so than anybody to this character, Ben, I felt like he was such a darling, like, character, and such a good man, and I just loved everything that he, he did and kind of stood for, and I just really, really, really fell in love with that character, so I think by far he was my favorite. The other characters, everybody had their own like personality and the way they spoke and like held themselves. Like I think it was really great to see all these characters be um, kind of like standalone and pretty strong on their own, but like I said, Ben was the one that really stood out to me. But there was a couple other like supporting ones, um, like Diana the younger sister was actually quite humorous and I found her to be um, pretty funny. Um, and a character that I ended up growing towards. Um, Pamela is also another one that I ended up really liking. But again, Ben definitely stole the show in this. I think he was such a phenomenal character and I loved reading about him. So what I felt like overall with the characters is you either really loved them or you learned to kind of like hate them. And I think it was one or the other like instantly when you first got introduced to a character. There was only one or two characters that totally 180'd, which was a nice little twist that I didn't see coming um, overall because I feel like there were some very predictable moments that happened, but I'll kind of talk about that in a bit. Another thing with our characters is with the women. I thought that it was really great to see such a big, like strong focus of what the women had to do in the war because I feel like a lot of times when you get these war stories, it's about the soldiers and how they fought to protect the country and just, um, you know, a lot of their war stories, but you don't get to see a lot of the back end of things, I feel like at least. I haven't read a lot of that, so I really appreciated getting these strong women that were intelligent and funny and just were able to do their part for the war and some of them had some dangerous jobs and some of them had other ones that were, you know, you know, extremely important that usually a man held that position and so or man, man held that position. So I think it was cool to see all of that, as well as for the guys that couldn't actually fight in the war, um, being able to see what they also did on the back end of research and just all of that. I, I just found it really fascinating. So I totally applaud 
hitting the other side of things. So in this, I got to about halfway and it was, it was decent. I wasn't totally in love with it. And right around the halfway point is when things kind of changed. A lot of stuff kind of picked up and it made me more invested in it and I was really, really interested and kind of, you know, started to speed read through because I just, I couldn't put it down. I wanted to know, get answers and just see how it all kind of played out. But then when the end actually did come, I was a little bit let down because I feel like I had predicted a lot of what had happened. Like I said, there was one little twist that got me that I did not see. I was totally expecting something else. And so that was a pleasant surprise. But for a majority, I kind of had it all picked out from the beginning. I, I kind of saw things playing out a certain way and that's exactly what happened. So I wish there would have been a little bit more of a surprise or some shock that would have been there just to kind of like really wow me. Um, and for that reason, it was just a little predictable and it took a while to kind of pick up. So um, there was that. Um, I feel like if you guys like World War II and you guys like Salt to the Sea or Between Shades of Grey, definitely give this a chance. But I ended up just giving it three stars just because like I said, there was a couple flaws in it that I just, you know, it just didn't do enough for me. It didn't move me enough um, to really give it a four or five, but I did enjoy it. So three stars. And again, thank you to Little Bird. And again, it's its book birthday. So definitely check it out if you guys are interested. And happy book birthday to Little Bird, to Lake Union, and to Reese herself. So congratulations to you guys. And thank you for sending it my way. And yeah, that, that's all I've got to say about this beauty. Oh, actually, it is not. So the cover is really pretty, right? But if you remove its hard cover, oh my gosh, the actual cover underneath is so pretty and it's got like such a nice feel and I just love the simple, like, but yet it has almost matching except for the text isn't there. And I thought that was such a cool thing. I don't think I've ever seen a hard cover that has like mimics the actual cover. So I loved it. So awesome. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so. Now that's pretty much everything. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support and tuning in today, and I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, you guys.